All right, before we begin doing our reconnaissance, we have to establish a client to attack. So for this course, we're going to be utilizing a client out of Bug Crowd. If you've never heard of Bug Crowd, Bug Crowd is a public bug bounty program. What that means is there are programs on the website that will allow you to attack them. And if you find a bug against the program, you're able to submit it and potentially get money for it. So you are able to hack these programs publicly as they are part of this program. Now, the program we're going to be attacking is Tesla. So Tesla is part of Bug Crowd. Now, please do note, please double check when you're watching this course as some time may have passed. Tesla might no longer be part of this bug bounty program. So it's very critical to make sure that you are still within scope before you attack. If for some reason Tesla is no longer in scope, just go ahead and pick a new client and do information gathering on them. You don't have to pick Tesla when we're doing this. You can just do it to follow along with me, but you're also welcome to pick any program you want. So if you go to bugcrowd.com and we go to programs, I will show you where Tesla exists. Now you can see here that they have all different types of programs in here. And if I were to scroll down and continuously, I could find more and more and more. There are hundreds of programs involved, all kinds of names, DigitalOcean, Okta, really big names, Pinterest, Altassian, anything that you can imagine probably has a bug program if it's reputable, okay? Any of the big names most likely have a bug program, especially if they're reputable. So here you could see what's based on reward, what's based on charity, and what's based on points only. That's how the bug bounties are rewarded. Some of them are not all cash. Some of them are just for points and for kudos, and the other ones are for charity. I'm gonna go ahead and just search Tesla. And when I do that, you could see here that Tesla comes up. Now, this is your first lesson into rules of engagement. And we're gonna talk about rules of engagement later but it's super important to read the program details that you see here. And what we really need to do is we need to scroll through and make sure that we stay in scope when we're doing this. So we have a wild card here. So this means that any subdomain inside of tesla.com is fair game, tesla.cn, tesla motors, etc. What is more important is that we stay within this out of scope. So we don't want to attack shop.eu.teslamotors.com or energy support.tesla.com. It says you can report vulnerabilities to bug bounty for this one, any domains from acquisitions such as Maxwell. So we have to stay within Tesla. And there's a few more sites. We're not gonna worry too much about that. When we get into the web app portion of the course, we're gonna talk about way more detail on enumerating web applications and go into that. So for now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna focus on information gathering. What kind of information can we gather from this client? So again, I'm setting my target to Tesla. If you pick another Tesla or another client, just make sure you stay in scope of that client. So from here, we're gonna move on to our first video and get our information gathering started. 